In just one week, via an online ceremony, Lucid will unveil its first production car in the form of the Lucid Air. And I think, for the first time since the Tesla Model S launched way back in 2012, the world will have a new electric car to truly lust after. Then again, I may be a little biased in the verdict as I was given a special invite to see the car myself in the metal last week at Lucid's headquarters in Silicon Valley, where we actually interviewed both Lucid CTO and CEO Peter Rawlinson, as well as Derek Jenkins, Vice President of Design. And yes, don't worry, the video is coming, but I can't exactly talk about it yet because embargo. Anyway, as I'm sure you'll know if you've been watching this channel for a while, Lucid has been drip feeding information about the production version of the Air for the last month or thereabouts. So far, we've learned that it will come with a 300 kilowatt DC quick charging capability as standard. It will offer a headline topping range of 517 miles per charge. That's on the EPA test cycle, which is in part thanks to its super slippery low coefficient of drag and be capable of two-way vehicle-to-grid connectivity thanks to its onboard 19.2 kilowatt bi-directional AC charger. Last week, ironically, while we were on the road driving to Lucid's headquarters, the company announced the actual capacity of the standard air battery pack, 113 kilowatt hours, as well as details of its 280 litre frunk and 739 litres of overall luggage space. This, we were told last week while we were visiting Lucid, was thanks in part to the clever packaging of the car's miniaturised motors and drive units, as well as a sculpted battery pack that provides additional legroom to the second row seats. But today we learned something new, just how quick the Lucid Air truly is. A few weeks ago, Lucid took a pre-production Lucid Air Dream Edition to the Sonoma Raceway to see just how quickly it could complete the quarter mile. It went head to head with what I assume is a Tesla Model S dual motor performance, as well as a Porsche Taycan Turbo S. And yes, in case you didn't catch my meaning there with the naming, there are going to be multiple variants of the Lucid Air. I'm assuming the one in this case was the highest performance variant, but I can't go into the details for each model, but Lucid did note in its press release covering the quarter mile feet that its standard drive units are each capable of up to 670 horsepower and 2,950 pound-feet of torque individually. When combined for this particular variant, there's more than 1,000 horsepower being put on the road. In both cases, the Lucid Air beat each of its competitors, managing the classic all-American quarter-mile race in 9.912 seconds at a terminal velocity of 144.4 miles per hour. Sadly, there is only a short 25 or so second clip of this happening, and I'm guessing that while there is probably further footage, Lucid's saving it until next week's big reveal event. And because the footage we filmed in California last week is also under embargo too, well, we are just going to have to deal with the footage we currently have from Lucid, which I should note is mainly pre-production validation cars, plus whatever footage existed of the very early alpha prototypes. And I'm not going to say anything else right now because I don't want to get into trouble for breaking embargoes. Sorry. Lucid said that its experience on the drag strip makes the Lucid Air Dream Edition the world's quickest production sedan, something that it has now stolen from Tesla. Of course, knowing how quickly Tesla pushes the envelope of its cars, I wouldn't expect Lucid to retain that title for very long. Instead, I'd expect some back and forth between the two companies, even though CEO Peter Rawlinson has said that Lucid isn't interested in necessarily just beating Tesla, rather that the company is more interested in tweaking the technology it has to offer the best performance and range it can. In that way, it's a little potato, potato, tomato, tomato, but nevertheless, being sub 10 second on the quarter mile as a production car is a pretty big deal. How big a deal? Well, it makes it faster than a Lamborghini Aventador SV, the Lamborghini Huracan Performante, and about the same speed as a Koenigsegg Egera RS, the Bugatti Chiron, and the McLaren 720S. But of all of these cars, and those that are actually quicker in the quarter mile, like the Ferrari Le Ferrari, the Porsche 918 Spyder, the McLaren P1, the Bugatti Veyron Supersport, and the Dodge Challenger Demon, 
Well, the Lucid Air is really the only one capable of also taking a family of five on a road trip. The rest are out and out performance cars, most of which have a six figure or more price tag, limited cargo space, and certainly not comfortable seating for five. Heck, the Lucid Air is almost as fast as the Enfield 8000 electric runabout from 1970-something that was once rescued from Welsh Field by our very own Kate Walton Elliot for her mother, then got flooded and written off, before being purchased by our good friend Johnny Smith and turned into the beast that is the Flux Capacitor. The Flux Capacitor managed a 9.86 second quarter mile in 2016 before UK drag strips banned electric cars from racing. Yeah, but anyway, I am digressing. The too long didn't read from this story is that the Lucid Air is stonkingly quick and it's a very exclusive club that is dominated by multi-million dollar cars. Obviously, I don't know how much the Lucid Air will cost, and honestly, that's not me hiding anything behind an embargo. I genuinely do not know that piece of information because Lucid wasn't sharing. But even if it turns out being a Tesla Model S dual motor performance money or more car, it's certainly going to be cheaper than many of the cars on that sub 10 second sprint list. Will this sell more cars to entry level customers? Absolutely not. But then, as it stands right now, the Lucid Air is not aimed at affordable mass market customers. But given in previous interviews we've had with Rawlinson, that is something that Lucid might look at in the future. Sure, performance and high sticker prices are not the be all and end all. But with Tesla, it was the Roadster that paved the way for Model S. And it was the Model S and Model X which paved the way for less expensive cars in the form of the Model 3 and the Model Y. And Lucid looks based on what it's showcasing and what we've seen, like it will also be the first to duplicate that, assuming it can get to market as planned, of course. And as I'm sure you'll know from watching this channel, we are always keen to reiterate that there is a massive gulf of difference between getting a car engineered and into production, and then turning that production process into a sustainable and profitable business. Only time will tell if Lucid can do the latter, but let's say, we're hopeful. Now that's it for today's video. As always, thanks to the folks on my right for being our $15 to $49 a month patrons. Special thanks also go to our $50 a month patrons, John Lyons, Radine Fellows, and Jeffrey Songster, and our deepest gratitude to our $100 a month Patreon supporters, Marcel Ward, Reggie Watts, JP Fagerback, and Sean Udea. You can join all of these Patreon supporters for yourself by following the link below, or use one of the other links to send us a donation through Kofi or Bitcoin. You will also find a fourth link to our free Discord server, so sign in and join in the fun. After the names are finished scrolling, you'll see a suggestion for a new video from this channel, so please consider watching it if you haven't, and I will be back very soon. Thanks for joining me, and as always, keep evolving!